Hello everyone, in this problem we have four sets, A, B, C, and D, and we have to prove that this set is a subset of this set. So this cross notation, this is the Cartesian product of sets. Let me just write it over here. A cross B is called the Cartesian product of A and B, and it's the set of all ordered pairs of the form, say, A comma B, such that little a is in capital A and little b is in capital B. So uh, the comma is shorthand notation for and. So you could write and. I just didn't because I was running out of room. So it's just all the ordered pairs where the first component in the ordered pair belongs to the first set and the second component in the ordered pair uh, belongs to the second set. Okay, so to show one set is a subset of another, you have to show that every single element in this set is also in this set. So we'll t start by taking an element in this set, so proof. So I'll say take any, and I don't want to use A and B because I don't want to like, you know, confuse ourselves and say, oh, you know, A is in A, B is in B. Let's use X, Y. So take any X, Y, Right, and an element in this union is an ordered pair because this is an ordered pair. This is the Cartesian product, and this is the Cartesian product. So, all elements belong to one of these or both. So, all the elements are elements of a Cartesian product. So, take any ordered pair in the union. So, A cross B union C cross D. So now we're going to write down uh, what this means. So what does it mean to be in the union? Well, it means that x, y is in this set, or, remember union means or, x, y is in this set. So this means that our ordered pair x, y is in the Cartesian product of a and b, a cross b, or our ordered pair x, y is in the Cartesian product of uh, C and D, so C cross D. And again, now we can go a little bit further. We can write down, um, you know, what this means. So this means, or then, this means that X is in A, and Y is in B. Okay, that's what it means uh, for X, Y to be in this Cartesian product. Or, here it would mean that X is in C, and y is in d. And what we're trying to show is that x, y is in this set here. So now we're really kind of at a sticking point, you know. So now let's just take cases maybe. Let's consider each case. We have this or this. So let's just analyze each case and hopefully it works out. So let's say if x is an a, and y is in b, well, what are we trying to show? We're trying to show um, that x, y is in this set here. That means x is in a union c and y is in b union d. Well, this means that x is in a, which is a subset of a union c, right? Because remember, a is certainly, every element a is certainly in A union C, because they're all in A. So this means that X is in A union C, and Y is in B, which is a subset of B union D. Let's be really precise. So this means, so because X is in A, which is contained in A union C, it means that X is in A union C. And, because y is in b, which is contained in b union d, that means y is in b union d. So y is in b, not skipping any steps, going a little bit fast, sorry. So we have x in a union c and y in b union d. That's precisely what it means for the ordered pair x comma y to be in a union c. Whoops, let me just fix that. a union c cross B union D. Really, really beautiful. Okay. Um, the other case is similar. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it just for completion. Um, if you're new to set three proofs, this is a little bit, a little bit harder. So if X is an A and Y is in B, 
then we have this, which means this, which means this, and so we've, we're done with, with our proof. If x is in C and y is in D, then what does that mean? That means that, well, what are we trying to show? We're trying to show it's in A union C, B union D. So that means that X is in C, which is contained in A union C, because every element in C is in C. So it's certainly in the union of C and anything else. In particular, it's in the union of C and A, which is called A union C. And Y is in D, and we're trying to show it's in B union D. So D is certainly a subset of B union D because every element in D is also in D, so it's also in B union D, so no issues. So this means that X is in, well, if X is in C, then, and C is contained in this, that means X is in A union C, and same thing here, Y is in B union D. So I'm saying a lot in words just to really reiterate what's going on. Um, you know, it's, it takes a lot of practice, but but you'll get there. And so what does this mean? Well, this means that the first component of our ordered pair is in A union C, and the second component of our ordered pair is in B union D. So that means that XY is in A union C cross B union D. So if this is true, we have XY in A union C cross B union D. If this is true, we have XY in A union C cross B union D. In any case, XY is in that Cartesian product. So in any case, In any case, we have X, whoops, going too fast here. I got too excited because we're, we're done, right? We finished it. This is the best part. <laughs> in any case, XY is in A union C cross and then B union D. So in any case, that is what occurs. So what does this mean? Well, we started with an element XY in this set here, which was this one. And through a series of careful mathematical steps, we showed that xy is in this set here. And we said xy could be any ordered pair. So this is true for all xy. So we've shown that every ordered pair in this set is also in this set. So we have completed the proof. We have shown that the subsets, that one, one set is a subset of the other. So this completes, or this shows, let's just go ahead and reiterate it. So this shows that, I have to go back and look at it because I forgot, a cross b, so a cross b, union C cross D is contained in um, A union C cross B union D. So B union D. You finish your proof. Let's. I'll, I'll do a little box with an X. Some people use a filled in box like this. Um, you can use QED, uh, etc. Kind of an interesting problem. I think the hardest part for people might be um, right here, right? You get to this point and you're like, okay, what do I do here? Like, what do you do here? This is where you get stuck. And when you get, when you get here, you might think, oh, is there like some type of like logic thing I can do or like some set algebra? Probably, but you know, it's an or statement. So just consider each case. If this happens, oh, look, we're done with the proof. If this happens, oh, look, we're done with the proof. Oh, okay. So in any case, we're done with the proof. Success. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to you in some way. Good luck.